Listening strategy. Listening for the main idea and details. How to succeed. Do you know there's an easy way to become successful? The following is the TED speech. How to succeed? Get more sleep. Listen to the words in the vocabulary bank first. Then listen carefully to the speech and choose the correct answer to each question. One. Unlock. Two. Billions of. Three. Dormant. Four. Sleep deprived. Five. Faint. Six. Exhaustion. Seven. Stitch. Eight. Journey. Nine. Productive. Ten. Inspired. Eleven. Revolution. Twelve. Issue. Thirteen. Literally. Fourteen. Virility. My big idea is a very, very small idea that can unlock billions of big ideas that are at the moment dormant inside us. And my little idea that will do that is sleep. <laughs> This is a room of type A women. This is a room of sleep-deprived women. And I learned the hard way the value of sleep. Two and a half years ago, I fainted from exhaustion. I hit my head on my desk. I broke my cheekbone. I got five stitches on my right eye, and I began the journey of rediscovering the value of sleep. <laughs> and in the course of that, I studied. I met with medical doctors, scientists, and I'm here to tell you. That the way to a more productive, more inspired, more joyful life is getting enough sleep. <laughs> And we women are going to lead the way in this new revolution, this new feminist issue. We are literally going to sleep our way to the top, literally. <laughs> Because, unfortunately, for men, sleep deprivation has become a virility symbol. <laughs> I was recently having dinner with a guy who bragged that he had only gotten four hours sleep the night before, and I felt like saying to him, but I didn't say it. I felt like saying, you know what? If you had gotten five, this dinner would have been a lot more interesting. <laughs> There is now a kind of sleep deprivation one-upmanship, especially here in Washington. If you try to make a breakfast date and you say, "How about eight o'clock?" they are likely to tell you, "Eight o'clock is too late for me." But that's okay. You know, I can get a game of tennis in and do a few conference calls and meet you at eight. And they think that means that they are so incredibly busy and productive. But the truth is, they're not, because we at the moment have had. Brilliant leaders in business, in finance, in politics, making terrible decisions. <laughs> so a high IQ does not mean that you are a good leader, because the essence of leadership is being able to see the iceberg before it hits the Titanic. <laughs> And we've had far too many icebergs hitting our Titanics. In fact. I have a feeling that in Lehman Brothers was Lehman Brothers and Sisters. They might still be around. <laughs> While all the brothers were busy, you know, just being hyper-connected 24/7, maybe a sister would have noticed the iceberg because she would have woken up from her seven and a half or eight hours sleep <laughs> and have been able to see the big picture. So as we are facing all the multiple crises. In our world at the moment, what is good for us on a personal level? What's going to bring more joy, gratitude, effectiveness in our lives, and be the best for our own careers? 
is also what is best for the world. So I urge you to shut your eyes and discover the great ideas that lie inside us, to shut your engines and discover the power of sleep. Thank you. Question 1. What is the speaker's big idea? Question 2. Who are the audience members? Question 3. When did the speaker rediscover the value of sleep? Question 4. According to the speaker, what is the best way to a more joyful life? Question 5. According to the speaker, how are women going to lead the way to the top?